hello guys how are you doing and welcome back to my channel so guys what you are seeing here is an invoice generated by the website that i want to talk about today called app and i will tell you all about it in a few so this is an invoice of project done you can see that was around july almost are coming to august so this is basically an example of the types of projects that app and has so app and has some projects that are hiring right now but before i show you i just uh there's some people who have already applied in app and because i mentioned it some time back but you've been asking about invoices and all that so this is how an invoice looks like like it says what project it is the date the time worked and how much they were paying you uh, per hour based on the project that you are working on so what happens is once you have worked the invoice is automatically generated at the end of that month okay so for example if you worked for the whole of november you're going to be paid on december so they're going to require you to like generate an invoice between uh maybe uh date one to date four of uh december and then they're going to release payment around date 11 and then they pay via pioneer okay so this is for those who have already joined and they were asking about the payment and all that and then another thing i wanted to mention using an example of this invoice is the different types of projects that you're going to get there okay so for this project you can see i worked for a total of 14 hours so this was a short project that allowed me to only work for 15 hours so they were just asking uh, someone to work for only 15 hours so there are those types of projects okay so you can see they said you can work for those 15 hours you can spread out in a week as long as you're done within a week and some days okay so i just chose uh, to spread mine over maybe work two uh two hours per day on this one so the the maximum was 15 hours so uh, what app and does is it has short tasks so there's those are tasks that are one time the for example images uh videos they want you to submit i'll show you in a few and then they have of uh, us uh they have a project so you can work uh, by hour other projects run for a month others run for months okay so it all depends on the length how much you're going to get paid and all that so you can see this one was paying uh per hour 2.75 dollars which is i think roughly uh 300 kenya shillings so i worked for 14 hours and 25 minutes and i you can see the total amount here was 39.66 dollars that's around 4,000. 500 kenyan shillings so you can see these projects are usually so good so that is why i'm telling you guys if you have not signed up app and it is time for you to sign up because every time they have project they send you notifications so you don't even have to wait for an email you can just log in into your app and check the projects that they have refreshed and updated there okay so guys before i move uh I wanted, before I show you uh, the projects here in my dashboard, I just wanted to show you a little bit about Appen and how it works. So there's someone here who is hearing about Appen for the first time. I jumped into the invoice because I've done uh, some videos on Appen. But if you are new here, Appen is going to pay you to do short tasks. Basically tasks on everything. Like this transcription, transcribing, um, search engine evaluator, data collection, all those. And then they pay you in tasks. So you do that in very short tasks and then they pay you via an hourly rate okay so this is up and i'm going to leave it a link in my description box so this is how it works okay uh so i'm just going to skip to the parts where it says types of jobs so this is the types of job that you can expect to find on app and so they have uh such media evaluation they have social media evaluation so when i talk about uh such media here and social media i mean for example they're going to maybe bring images or maybe bring a uh, text and then they want you to see whether it is fit to be social media, whether it's offensive, whether uh, sometimes they want you to group it, whether it's social, whether it's political, whether it's polls, or whether it is all of them, okay? So that is just evaluation. Then they have translation services and transcription, okay? So what happens is instead of being given an assigned, for example, to translate uh, something that is like uh, 10 hours long on your own, they take that uh, translation and then they divide it into short tasks so that a lot of people can work on it, uh, at the same time and finish on time and then we have data collection so these ones are the majority and then we have linguistics okay you're going to find a uh, speech evaluation video annotation image annotation there are so many of them so these are just categories that you're going to find once you have applied here on appen okay so like i said appen is going to pay you by a pioneer so if you do not have a pioneer account just set it up okay it is not that difficult and then you just have to apply so when you apply they're not going to even ask for a lot of things just uh your name your email where you stay because where you stay is going to like influence the type of projects that you're going to receive if you're in kenya they're going to give you uh jobs 
for the market that you're at okay so that is all so they're not going to ask you for lots so what they're going to do is uh the moment you start applying for individual projects you're going to find out uh, some projects are going to require you to give more information so as you give more information your project keeps building up so that information that you give is going to be added as part of your profile information okay so it has changed when i was applying on app and you even used to ask for a cv and so much information so i think uh things have changed now and the application process is is a bit easier okay so this is how you apply and then the moment you apply so this is my app my app and account and this is my dashboard so the moment you apply you should be able to get uh, something like this and then one thing about app and is uh you always have different projects okay uh, i have these projects here on my dashboard someone else is going to have different uh, projects if you just applied at app and the first things uh the first project that you're going to see is data collection because data collection do not require you to have any skill this is a zero skill because most of them are you uh, maybe uh taking images of yourself uh taking what uh, taking videos of your surroundings so those are the data collection app uh, if you apply on uh, app and right now and your account open the first thing you're going to see is the data collection project so you can see them here there are so many of them and then you can see such evaluation so when i was talking about how it works i'm sure you, uh, there's somewhere we saw such evaluation so that is it and then we have social media evaluation also so these are the types of projects so i'm sure if someone else is on app and maybe they're seeing different projects from what i'm seeing okay so the next thing i wanted to do is you can see each project has a type okay whether it's such evaluation and then it has a rate per hour so that when you're applying you know how much you're going to get paid so you can see like this one arrow pickaboo has two dollars per hour so they're going to pay you in dollars so uh maybe uh when it's kenyan shillings around 250 shillings per hour and then some of these projects allow you to work up to four hours a day okay so if you make 250 per hour and then you work for four hours that is 1000 bob which if you ask me is not that bad so assuming you work 1000 bob on one project and maybe you have qualified for two or three that is up to 3000 kenyan shillings so that is how it works okay so i have applied for all these projects that are here okay so some of them are active for me to start others are, i have not applied so what you do is you usually apply so uh there's this uh drop box option here so if i click on this option mine is, is asking me to view the project page or to work this it's asking me to work this because i've already qualified for that and i can work for this but if you have not yet applied what you're going to be seeing in this box is apply so they tell you to apply so you click on that and then you apply if there are any questions that you need to uh to maybe answer you're going to answer them there and then you submit so the moment you submit your application you're going to uh receive an email telling you they have received uh, your application okay so that is the first email just to tell you that, that they have received and then there is the second email the second email is going to tell you whether they will uh, they want to continue with your application okay and then there's also the third email which on uh this is the third email now you can start working so they have a link so every project here has a link to how you're going to start working okay because uh some of these projects actually have another tool that you work on so you have to wait for the that and final uh, link that is going to ask you to finally start working on the project okay but for data collection projects you don't have those many steps for example for this data if you just apply now now you can just get a link to start now now because it's just collecting images and doing videos and all that okay so uh, that was a part uh, such evaluation data collection is just uh collecting our uh, data images anything like that that has to do with taking pictures and all that and then uh, we have a crescent data here so this is the uhrs project that i was talking about so you remember i've been talking about uhrs tasks okay so this crescent here is the uhrs task uh on app and okay so this is uh one of the uhrs vendors so if you have not been successful in applying for uhrs jobs in other vendors maybe you can first of all sign up on app and go to crescent uh, uh data collector this project and then apply it so once you apply so you can also see this has an option of work this okay uh it doesn't have an option of work this because once you apply you get uh once you apply using your live uh ID okay so for those of you who work on UHRS you know what live uh, is so you get that link okay mostly you're going to get a notification into your email or get uh, that link into your email the moment you click on it it's going to take you directly to the UHRS marketplace okay 
right so this crescent is uh on uh, on that and then other projects that you can apply on let me uh let me minimize this so that you can see other projects here this these are social media evaluation also paying uh to this one is paying two dollars per task and it's an hourly rate just like the first one this one here social media labeling is also doing the same sometimes social media label just want you to uh they just want to know whether when you read uh, a certain social media post is it okay is it uh offensive uh is it supposed to be online okay so it's not even that something that difficult so they're paying two dollars per hour or so so you can apply uh on that and also there's also this will uh will cost touch engine evaluator the same thing okay if i click on options mine says work this because i already i, I already um submitted my application it was already went through and then there's this final one that was updated i think uh, yesterday or less than a day ago it's wood data collector this is data collection and it's paying 25 uh not 25 250 dollars per tax that is almost uh 27 000 kenya shillings but again when i looked at this one i don't know why it appeared in my dashboard because it says it's supposed to be done physically in atlanta okay so i'm not in atlanta and you cannot travel at there because of this 27,000 Kenyan shillings i don't know why it appeared in my dashboard but it's a data collection so projects usually appear you just have to keep looking sometimes they're going to suggest uh, projects for you when they do that they're going to send them to your email okay so you can see you have uh, all projects so these are my projects here my projects are the projects that you have already been accepted to work on so you can see there is that engine evaluator two dollars per task and then there's this one and then there's uh, the arrow pickable this one are the ones that you have applied suggested are the ones it suggests for you so if you do not have an account on Appen and you would like to make that extra cash, make sure that you do so. Apply on Appen. Sometimes they're going to give you really exciting projects. At the time they used to post projects, they are going to pay you up to, uh, they were paying uh, $4, $5 per hour. And then you can add, work up to 6 hours per day okay so you can just go there apply make sure that you uh, finish uh, building your profile because again projects are going to be recommended for you based on your profile okay so make sure that you apply there uh, it's a good it's a an, a good extra way of making money income especially if you land a long-term project okay so guys that is it for today i hope this video was helpful and i will see you in my next video bye bye